Hello guys, hope you're well. Today we're back with another 3D app icon design and we're going to take a look at Snapchat icon and uh, let's get started. So as you can see I got my reference up here in the corner and I got my shapes ready. These are all vector shapes so you can you can see always, always try to use shapes they, they, they will give you the best result they will give you the smoothest best result um, so let's get started I'm gonna turn off the base because actually we don't need it we already have a, a 3d object inside dimension which can work as a base so let's do the logo go to the 3d panel 3d extrusion create it's gonna be a quick one we don't have to really do much with this just change the depth to zero and then inside the bevel panel use both front and back and then in the inflate angle well you just change it to the maximum 90 and strength 10% works well I can see it on the preview here so it's great that's basically pretty much what I wanted to do with this object I also created because I want to add this kind of uh, notification ball so what I did I just created this um, this uh, uh, project file here has got a red background with just a number in the middle I saved it out as a PNG already and I'm just going to use it uh, on, on an object on a sweet object okay but let's go back to the logo we got that done 3d export 3d layer always go for wavefront that's done okay all right uh, yeah that's that's good save it replace it i already done it so that's all good now we can jump into dimension create a new project change the canvas size to okay to oh boy we go and fit canvas that's great all right let's start with here just adding a plane to our scene and enlarge it a lot <laughs> let's just zoom out there we go that should be fine okay cool all right um, right let's add our actually first let's just do the shape so we can use the the icon base shape at uh, this cube let's just zoom in uh, enlarge it and then scale down the y uh, I don't know, let's see 0 0.4 yes yes that should be all right there we go all right there we go this I'm gonna save this camera view there we go and then add a bevel to this object here and as you can see it's it's pretty much like the icon uh, uh, the base what we have so so that's fine I think we don't really have to worry about it too much now we can bring in our uh, 3d snapchat object there we go and let me just zoom out find it move it to its place there we go back Ooh, it's quite big that's fine all right let me see okay let's just scale it down a little bit like this go back to our original view all right i want something like this actually i'm going to Okay, let's find something we're happy with. Zoom in a little bit like this. Okay, good. I'm happy with this. So I'm just going to update this view with this kind of refresh icon here. And uh, let's add the sphere as well to our scene. Okay. And just bring it up here some more scale it up like that all right that's 
perfect. Something like this. Works well. Yeah, like that. Great. Okay, good. So now we can start adding some materials to our scene. I start with the plane and add. Um, now I'm actually just going to change the color to something like a blue, like that. That's perfect. Roughness, I'll, I'll leave it like that for now. Our cube, I'm going to use the same, just change the color into a yellow one, like this. Could go to Photoshop and just check what, what is this color here. Yeah, let me just copy this over. There we go, perfect. Roughness, um, yeah, let's start like that, let's leave it like that. Mm, okay, I'm going to change the size a little bit taller, maybe. Yeah, and then, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the logo. And a logo, I'm going to use this glass material. Uh, and I'm going to change a couple of settings here. Uh, color can be the same, that's fine. Roughness, I'll change it to at least 40%, so it's not exactly see-through. Uh, glow, I'll add about 5% to, to the uh, material here. Uh, translucent, that's fine. Index can go up to 3. And uh, let's just have a look at a quick render how it looks. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm happy with this. Okay, dokie. And now we can go and change the material of the glue, uh, this ball here. Actually, I, I'm just going to go and just change the color to red. And also, um, yeah, I'm just going to use this combat to standard model so I can apply an actual uh, sticker on it. And I already have that inside here there we go so let's see okay I'm just going to enlarge it a little bit and move it to its place like that rotate it a little bit there we go I'm okay with that actually don't really like the reflection on the ball so let me just change it uh, roughness go down to go up to 60, let's see, and the graphic, yeah, that's actually the one which is really shiny, yeah, okay, 60 as well, there we go, so it's great, uh, let's go back to our environment and change the light into the studio color stage, there we go, let's do a quick render to see how it looks, yeah, I like it. Actually, I'm going to colorize it like that. That's great. And just use white. Maybe go back to 80%. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah, this blue seems a bit too... This feels much better to me. Okay, a little bit zoom in. Let me just zoom in a little bit also. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. I need to set this up again. There we go. Alright, let's have a look how it looks. Okay. Just enlarge it a tiny bit. Okay. Yeah. I was looking at another uh, environment light as well, which was basically these studio light pillars here. And um, it gives you a slightly different result. And this looks actually pretty nice as well, so I'm just going to stick to to this one here. And uh, 
change the graphic roughness to 50. There we go. All right. So that's good. We can go to render now and just uh, render our uh, project out. This takes about 15 minutes, so I'm gonna speed this. I'm gonna skip this actually at this process, and I'll uh, go back to Photoshop to add the final uh, uh, adjustments. Actually, I have to bring this down a little bit, so I'll step back. You can stop the render anytime you want, and then just kind of like adjust your your scene. Okay, yeah, that 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 was just bugging me. Okay, cool. All right, uh, the render just finished, so we're back in Photoshop. Just a little bit of final uh, um, enhancement, and all we have to do is basically uh, go to select, select all, and then edit, copy merged, edit again, and paste. So you'll have a merged version of the whole uh, design. Right click to do a uh, convert to smart object. And once that's done, we can jump into filter and camera raw filter. In here, what I like to do is just let me just change the view. Yeah, so we can see what's happening. And uh, go to basic and just add a little bit of texture. Uh, also add clarity and the haze and vibrance. You can go up to 30, 40. Yeah, that's fine. And at the end uh, of the list here, we got effects and add a bit of grain, like eight should be fine. And then a little bit of vignette. So this will look really nice. Yeah, that's all. So that's all I wanted to do. I hope you like this video. Comment below if you have uh, uh, any other app icon you'd like to see turn into 3D. And um, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.